Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl, B. Sparrow, Buzz Sweet Talk Radio. How y'all doing today? I am thankful to be amongst the living. And if you are within the sound of my voice, I'm thankful to the Most High that He saw fit to wake you up this morning too. All praises to the Most High. So, I was strolling the internet, minding my business, you know, just looking for some articles to read. And I came across this article that said, Missing teen Gabriel Michael Davies found safe, then arrested for murder. Now, I found that interesting because my daughter is doing a True Crime Tuesday. She does True Crime Tuesdays on my panel. Actually, she'll be broadcasting from the BuzzSuite radio channel on YouTube. That's where she'll be coming from this Tuesday. But she did a a story about James Simi Lambert Jr., who was killed by a teenager. James Simi Lambert Jr., 73-year-old man, walking from his sister's house, at 2 o'clock in the morning, and he see these young kids hanging out, and so he tells them, hey, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Y'all need to go in the house. Y'all need to be inside. And instead of them taking heed to what he's saying, they started harassing him. And so now he ended up dead, and one girl, 14 years old, is arrested for his murder. It's really an interesting and sad story. Make sure y'all go and check it out on my um, Be Sparrow Talk channel on YouTube. It's very interesting. Let's go over there and let's show Candace some support. She's doing a great job. So there is an article. There is an article. And if you guys will allow me to go and fetch my article, I'll do just that. I'll be back, okay? Okay. This is B Sparrow and Buzz Tweet Radio. Lately, I've been using my phone to earn some extra cash for groceries, for hair care products, for cleaning products. You heard me right. I used my cell phone to earn extra cash. How do you do that, B? I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you how. I installed the Mode app on my phone. This app is available in the Google Play Store as well as Apple Store. Once the app was installed, I set up my mold account and started playing music from some of my favorite artists. It's amazing that I made money just by listening to my favorite songs. And you can do this anywhere, while out and about, while traveling, or even while you are working. Search and play music from over 100,000 radio stations. Earn mold coins while playing music and games on your phone. Redeem for Amazon or PayPal cards. You can also redeem for Visa gift cards and more. I personally prefer to use PayPal and I cash out about $40 a month. All I had to do was listen to music and they gave me money. You can do the same thing. Hey, you're going to be on your phone anyway. Might as well get paid for it. Install the mobile app today. An installation link can be found in the description box below. What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Sweet Talk Radio do not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 United States Copyright Office, 
Copyright Act 1976. This video, the music and content it contains is for education and or entertainment purposes only. All right, I know people have been sitting there, but I gotta bring this queen up here. B Sparrow! B Sparrow! I was keeping my eye on that sparrow. Come on here. What's up, B Sparrow? I can't call it, man. I can't call it. I cannot call it. It's your girl, B Sparrow. Buzz Sweet Talk Radio. Listen, man, um, I just, I, I am baffled. I, you've been hearing, you, we are hearing of a lot of teenagers that are killing older people. According to this article on NewYorkPost.com, he went from a missing person to the subject of a murder investigation. The Washington State teenager who vanished on his way to football practice last week has been accused of plotting his own disappearance to avoid being arrested for the murder of his mother's ex-boyfriend, prosecutors say. Gabriel Michael Davies, 16, was reported missing by his family on August 31st after failing to show up to best to football practice, according to court documents. Authorities had launched a frantic search for the teen when they found his car abandoned with blood smeared inside and his cell phone shattered on the ground close by. Yeah, they search frantically for the white teens, but for black teens, not so. But in a strange turn of events, this article goes on, officials reveal Davies was found safe late on September the 1st under suspicious circumstance and just hours later ended up nabbing him and his friend on murder charges over the death of 51-year-old Daniel McCall. Davis is, Davis, another 16-year-old boy, Justin Yoon, faced court. I think this is trying to say Davis and another 16-year-old boy, Justin Yoon, faced court for the first time on murder, weapons, and burglary charges related to the slaying. Prosecutors say the alleged elaborately orchestrated saga prosecutors say the alleged elaborately orchestrated saga started to unravel when authorities discovered the McCall's rotting body shot and stabbed to death inside of his Ortine home earlier on September the 1st after he failed to show up for work for several days. Investigators determined that McCall had been in a previous relationship with Davis' with Davis's mom, Amanda Oluf, Olufsen. I'm just saying, that's how it looked to me, y'all. O-L-U-F-S-O-N. Olofsson, Olofsson. Anyway, she's Amanda, and um, the three had once lived together in the victim's home, according to court papers. The couple had split just weeks before the murder. Local outlet My Northwest reported. Officials also became suspicious of Davies after he was located by search teams roughly 36 hours after being reported missing close to where authorities had found his abandoned car. I, it's just these teens. I don't understand what's going on. But then again, I do. Because you know what? The devil is busy. Busy indeed the devil is. And he does not discriminate. Your color don't matter. Your age don't matter. Your gender don't matter. He does not discriminate. 
This article goes on to say the teen wasn't wearing any shoes or a shirt when he was found. And investigators noted that he wasn't suffering from injuries that could have indicated he had been walking barefoot in the woods in the time he'd vanished. Court documents say Davies initially told a detective that he could not remember what had happened to him or where he had been during his disappearance, prosecutors said in the court papers. He later stated that he could not say what had happened to him because people were going to hurt him. Mm, the lies, the lies, the lies. People like who? But let's continue. As the investigation unfolded, prosecutors said authorities found surveillance footage from outside McCall's home that allegedly showed Davies and Yoon crawling through a doggy door in the early hours of August 28th while wearing gloves. They were spotted taking away multiple items from the home, including what investigators described as guns and a military-style ammunition can or a similarly sized toolbox. Just wow. I mean, these kids <clears throat> these days have no cut cards, no home training. It's just like they'll do anything. Like, m who? Murder? 16 years old and you out there murdering people. But they call the black race animals. They call us animals. Mm, mm, mm. Now, authorities were called to carry out a welfare check on McCall's home on September the 1st, and they found him lying in a pool of blood. There was decomposition to the victim's upper body and head and maggots up to his upper body and head, and maggots were visible along the neck and shoulders, authorities said, according to court documents. Mm. Now, they're not saying why this man killed his stepfather or this boy, because that's what he is, a teenage boy. His whole life is forever going to be changed. And then he had his friend with him, Justin Yoon, an Asian. This is an Asian guy and a white guy. Teenagers murdering. This man has stab wounds and gunshot wounds. Mm. So investigators found three spent shell cases inside of the victim's home. During a search of Davis's room as part of his missing persons probe, investigators uncovered a single spent shell casing. That shell casing was not collected at the time as it was not deemed to be, to be part of the missing person investigation. At that point, the victim's death was unknown to any law enforcement agency, the court documents read. Following their arrest, investigators said Davies allegedly showed them where he and Yoon had disposed of two guns they had taken from McCall's home. And yet another bizarre twist. Court documents say Davies' father contacted authorities after his son was found to reveal that the teen was involved in McCall's death, but that the victim's biker buddies, his, bi quote, biker buddies, had threatened his son into stealing items from the home. See, this is what your son told you, sir. This is what your son told you. The father claimed Davis then consulted Yoon and the duo hatched a plan to steal the items. Davis had told his father that Yoon allegedly shot and stabbed McCall when he entered his home. The court documents say so now they're going to start blaming one another. But I don't know what Yoon uh, what Yoon's motive would have been, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's not his stepfather. However, a lot of times criminals don't need a motive. Mm. 
So the father said that the outlaw motorcycle group tracked his son down on August 31st, pulled him out of his vehicle and smashed his face against the car. They allegedly drove Davis around in their car before roughing him up and dumping him without his shoes and shirts, according to the father. Separately, Jung's father had also contacted authorities at some point to say he had information about a crime in which Davis was involved. Davis and Yoon are both charged with murder in the first and second degree, burglary and unlawful possession of a firearm. The bail was set at one million dollars. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, not just to my YouTube channel, but come on over here to my podcast on Spreaker.com. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Follow me there. And in return, I'll do the same. It's your girl, B Sparrow. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Holla at y'all, girl. Okay? Okay? <laughs>